Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this not a tutorial, just a quick update about one of the most used and useful tools in Blender to create, edit and manage IFC files, which is a pillar of what we call Open Beam. Uh, Blender Beam is a it's a resource, an incredible resource for for anyone working with architecture or engineering because it will give you uh, the ability to create and use Blender in a similar way to, for instance, uh, Revit or ArchiCAD. And Blender Beam already have an incredible set of features. We can see here that it can extract documentation. It can uh, extract. It can make. It can help you with uh, structural analysis. A lot of important uh, things for anyone working with architecture or engineering. And today I have some good news and bad news about Blender Beam. The first, the bad news: Blender Beam is over. But uh, easy. Uh, it's not over in uh, in a way that you will see the software disappearing it will need a rebranding. Why is that important? And why do, we, uh, why do they have to make this change? And the main reason for this rebranding or the need for this rebranding is right here. The official Blender extensions repository. Uh, by the way, I will uh, list all the links uh, of everything that I'm talking about in this uh, video here on the description. So you can visit Blender Beam, you can visit this page, you can visit all of the following links that I'll be showing up uh, in the video. Uh, in case you are not aware, one of the main problems here is uh, the use of the name Blender. Why is that? Blender in the realm of software as a software is a trademark of the Blender Foundation. So if you are trying, if you try to create a software in any uh, field and name it Blender, it will be uh, breaking a trademark from the Blender Foundation. So uh, the problem here is that uh, using the Blender name as the title for this extension might give people uh, the uh, wrong impression that it's something offered by the Blender Foundation. It's something official from uh, from Blender. So uh, to avoid any confusion, they will need to rebrand uh, Blender Beam. And if you want to see more information about this, uh, like the exchange of emails between the Blender Beam devs and the Blender Foundation, you can visit this link here that will lead you to that will lead you to uh, the IFC Open Shell on GitHub, and they have the entire conversation a very friendly conversation to be clear on the need to to rebrand blender beam and this is where you can help yeah you can help choosing uh, or pick the new name for blender beam if you visit the osarc.org uh, the forums you will see a thread which with lots of suggestions for the new name for Blender Beam. They are even uh, discarding a few options. For instance, if you are trying to rename it as X, you can't, uh, someone else use it this for a rebrand. So you can't use, you can't rename Blender Beam as uh, X. Uh, jokes aside, there are lots of different options for names. And you as a user, as someone that might be using Blender Beam, you can help uh, pick the new name. And this is it. This was uh, the news about Blender Beam. Just a few, uh, just one last uh, thing. They will decide the new name uh, in a few days. And by the end of August, you won't find Blender Beam uh, anymore. It will have the new name, new website, new logo, uh, new everything, and will probably go into the official Blender uh, add-ons uh, extensions repository so this is it this is just some quick news about blender beam if you are working with architecture engineering design and you have uh, any interest on beam you should take a look into blender beam or whatever name it takes uh, in the future see you next time bye